Teenagers, the pair of them, similar heights. And Ollie Schmidt, he has a deep record. Helium test fate, just the four wins and the one loss. Ollie Schmidt has 10 wins, three knockouts. And he has four losses. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our 67 kg super fight scheduled for three two-minute rounds of action. It is sponsored by Monica Group. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white and red trim. Weighing in at 67 kgs flat, hailing from Auckland, New Zealand. He's the Oceania IMMAF featherweight champion and current WAKO Oceania champion. With 14 professional fights, 10 wins, four losses. Three big wins coming by way of KO. Representing Shuriken, here is Oli Schmidt. And his opponent fighting into the red corner, enters the ring wearing red trunks with silver and red trim, weighing in at 66.9 kgs, hailing from Ethiopia, now residing in Auckland, New Zealand. He is the IKBF North Island welterweight champion with five professional fights, four wins, one loss. Introducing Helium Tesfaye! Fighters to the center ring, please, for Rebel John Conway's instructions. All right, guys, first of all, you both must be able to protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions when I call break. Stop throwing, step away from each other until I say fight. Shake him up, back in your corner, out of the bell. Certainly a young man's division here tonight. Hangman, right, these two teenagers once again. It is a weight category that, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't surprise me to see a few more younger guys in there. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot from the young uh, Oli Schmidt. He's a guy I've um, been watching for a fair while now. So he's, he's only young, 18, 19, but 15 fights at that age. Uh, he's one of the hottest young prospects in um, amateur MMA coming up in okay. New Zealand. So I'm very excited to see how he does Ready? under these bright Ready? lights, Come the king on. of the ring. Round one. Well, this is... He's a switch stance fighter. Likes to fight on the outside, pick his shots, but he's very capable of getting his opponent out. Well, he saw a test fight. He turned that right hand over. He's clearly looking for it. And he's really winding up early, looking to bridge the gap. He's not really setting it up. He's just walking up. It'll be interesting to see how Smith, with his more composed approach, whether he can catch him on the way in. And you can see test fight, he's keen to feel flesh at the end of his shins and the end of his fists. And uh, he just may need to set it up a little better. Schmidt goes to the body with that left kick. Three by two minute rounds. This is the first of them. Helion test fate with the white and red shorts. Man from Ethiopia, Oli Schmidt. He is all in black. Coming out of the blue corner, the man from Shurigan MMA. Tespe seems to have good eyes as well. So, interesting, two young fighters, two teenagers, trying to go out and hammer and tong. Schmidt looking for the spinning back kick, missing. He's putting a lot of investment on the liver there, Tespe, looking to uh, slow him down. Tespe's coming in full of energy, coming forward, big left hook, big kicks. But uh, we'll see if that body work that Ollie's putting in slows him down. A little bit wide in his guard, but you're right. That left leg in particular, he's, he's using it and he's looking for it. Heavy left hook there from Tess Fate. Uh, he's a little upright, though, with his chin when he's in the firing zone. Ollie Schmidt, let's see how open his eyes are. Whether he can look through the maelstrom and thread the needle and land one on the chin. Round one. Well, that's an interesting round to score. Tesfaye probably takes it by virtue of his aggression and landing some visibly heavy shots. But uh, as the hangman said, Ollie Schmidt doing a good bit of work working on that body. And that can break you down over time. Let's not swear, my man. Uh, hey, um, yeah, bro, so you're hitting yourself more nice. What we're going to do is... Ready? Make him, make him fear that left hand. 
and then go, go on him. All he's got is that right hook and the left hook and that inside leg kick. And he's swinging away because he's hitting and hoping. Okay, three. Let's throw a few more Anthony's. Yeah, yeah boy. Three, body. It's there all day, yeah. Three, body, yeah. Where's my Same set, same leg, yeah. Let's not, not scrap with him, man. Let's don't scrap with him. Take it down for two. Uh, interesting instructions, Hangman. Don't punch with a puncher. Be sure Continue to invest in the body and keep composure. Keep, keep yeah, it looks like the composure was really the call of that round. Look for your shots, place your shots. Don't get sucked into a brawl. A little more educated there with the lead hand, Ollie Schmidt. And uh, they called for him to use the left hand more. He is a switch hitter, as the Hangman said. It'll be interesting to see whether he's trying to apply it from Southport as he did just then. There was that spinning back kick. And uh, those can take a toll. And he needs to catch you on the in-breath and all of a sudden your floating ribs are protruding out your back. Yeah, I saw Ollie's last uh, MMA fight and he actually stopped his opponent with a, a spinning back kick. So uh, it's, that seems to be why he's going to it because he's had success with it in the past. Yeah, he just, just missed with a question mark kick there. He's got a lot of kicking ability by the looks. I think the left hook's there for him. Test face dipping down to that side. And again, throwing that left kick, wrapping the shin around the forearms of Test Fate. And uh, when the forearms start to come up and get sore, then he starts to find the body. I think an interesting turn of events is that uh, Ollie seems to have got the respect of Test Fate now. Now Test Fate is a, a bit more reluctant to, to pressure forward and use that same aggression he did in the first round. Well, as they say, Payne is a very good educator. And uh, he just took, went away from that right head kick there. Luckily, didn't rock into it. Now Ali Schmidt, he's really starting to put his combinations together well. He's reading the rhythm of Test Fate. More body shots there. Test Fate trying to answer back, but his output has dropped a little. And uh, Ollie Schmidt is keeping his range well. Lead with the right hand there. Range still not quite right on the kicks. Tesfaye just starting to get a little predictable. Throws that inside kick with his left hand. Well, if Tesfaye claimed the first round, certainly Ollie Schmidt looked to have done Don't well in the second. And he's put a lot of money in the bank for the third round as Tess Faye looks like he is starting to fade. Yeah, well, Ollie got his respect and he started backing Tess Faye up, which is a, a, you know, a good sign for Ollie and his team to, to, to now that they have their timing, they have their range, to pick up the pace. When he chases you, folks, spinning back. Don't get stuck in the, in, in the, in the brawl. Yeah. I want those angles. Yeah. Pump oh. fake, get to the side, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Bro, it's that's gonna come out hard. I think it's even. I think it's even around the piece. Yeah, well, when he gasses in front of you next time, switch right, to the second half for the, the third and the final, final round. You're almost home, okay? You're almost home. That's it. Go, 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 go. Put that overhand on. Well, even Stevens heading into the third and final round. This is our 67 kilo super fight. Hello, Jess Fay on the right of your screens. Ollie Schmidt on the left, and it looks even. But Ollie Schmidt just looks like he. Has a few more options. And he looks like he has the rhythm a little better at this point. There's that spinning back kick again. Looking for the overhand right test, Faye, but just not quite setting it up as he should. Stop! Stop! I'd like to see Schmidt just wait a while before he goes for that spinning back kick. Set it up better because uh, it's easy to read when you know it's coming. Yeah, he was having some good success with his, his punches and definitely with his low kick, which he's, he's moved away from. And a low kick is a... Great Stop. way to set up the spinning back kick if you can stop your opponent coming forward. Well, time. Yeah, Hello, yeah. Test Fate. Go there. Clattered come here, come here, come here. his left Go foot yeah. into the middle Open stump now. of Ollie okay, Schmidt. And uh, we will just call a, a bit of a delay. Michelle. Fighters are often tempted to jump straight oh, back in, on. but I'm always in favour of them uh, making sure they give themselves a, a good break because that can take a lot of wind out of you. A decent groin shot. Nice work from Ollie Smith, though. Picking his shots. Test face showing a little bit of variation with the shots. Chin up, though. 
Both these boys look like they're going to have a good future. He tried to fake the right hand. Good eyes from both men so far. This face seems like he's got a bit of sting. Ollie Smith just dropping, leaning over when he's clattered around the, the rear left leg. That can be a danger sign for him if Tess Fay decides to go high with the left kick. Yeah, both hammering each other's legs. Tess has got a bit of a second win coming into the last part. He can see the finish line, so he's picking up the pace. You can see he's got good eyes too. But part of this is because Ollie Schmidt isn't setting up his kicks this time around. He's not using his hands. That left leg is really starting to take some damage. Ollie Stop Schmidt the thinking about the suplex thought better of it. Test fate really starting to come on strong. Into that final round, I would have to favour Halium Test fate. Really went to work on that left leg or the right leg rather of Ollie Schmidt with his left kick and uh, Schmidt just his output dropped and he wasn't as effective hangman. Yeah well the aggression for Tess Faye I feel like stole the first round and yeah the second part of that third round the low kicks and the accuracy of Tess Faye. Well let's see how the judges go and could have gone either way I suspect it'll go Tess Faye and Tess Faye I don't think you can argue that he didn't win the third so another intriguing fight. Fight us to the center two ring, very please. Talented teenagers, just 18 and 19 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. For your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Helium Tespe. But it was the aggression. He found something that worked in particular. He found his second win in the third.